Hello everyone, welcome to Linda Tutorial by Radiance Creations. In these videos, what I will be showing you is how to make our Quino Life uh, Turban. But this type of Quino Turban is unique and classy. <laughs> Alright, let me introduce the materials I will be using in this video. So this is my satin, my door face satin. Um, you can make use of any fabric but this is what's available right now that is why i'm using it so i have my satin here you can use like half yard of your satin or one yard so i'm um, having my crinoline here this is two years of crinoline by hand is 200 naira now and it was 150 before so it's 200 naira i had and this is my leather flower to embellish my fascinate my turban my pearls, this is thousand gold, needle and thread, scissors with tempo. Oh. All right, let us get started. Now, the first thing to do is to make the turban, just like I said, the turban queen line or queen line turban. <laughs> Anyhow, so the body for the measurement for the body of the turban will be 15 inches, the length will be 15 inches, while the weight for the edge circumference will be 26 inches. So um, you I, just like I said, you can make use of your any any fabric. Why I make it 16, uh, 15 inches here? Eh? First, I don't want it to be too big, and secondly, I will I will still fold because this is satin. It has a way of removing from the head where you cut it off. So I will take it to my sewing machine and fold it into two just to secure the hedges. I'll fold it. I'll sew it around like that. So I fold it. So that is for the body and for the band. This top band is going to have a V-shaped band with a pleated. With it's be it's going to be a pleated V-shape at the front. So the measurement I'm having for the band, I'm having seventeen inches for the width for the length, and thirteen inches for the width. But before I go ahead to start the pleat, I'll first secure all the four edges. Not just like I said. Just to avoid it from losing. If you are using the material that is not like satin, you don't need to fold any edge. Just so, just pleat. Go ahead to pleat. But because I'm using satin and I want my work to be very neat, that's why I'm going to secure all the edges. I'll go and do that now and show you the next thing to do. All right, I've already sewed it, the edges just the way I said it. All right, so we are going to set the body aside and move on to the band. So this is what we are going to form. This plate, I am having five plates here. One, two, three, four, five. So there you see. And so this is what we are going to form with the second band. So you may want to ask that if you are not using satin, just like my own, can you make use of the measurement I said earlier? Like, yes, you can make use of the measurement I said. Now, what I'm having here left over after I have secured all the edges, I'm having 12 inches. So it, it depends on the band, the pleats you want to have on your photo band. Just like I said, I'm having five pleats here and it, they are very close. Can you see? They are very close. So you can make use of 12 inches, 13 inches if you know how to play very well. So in case you don't know how to play very well, try to make use of 17 inches so that if there is any excess, you can easily cut it out. But this 12 inches is okay for me. I was able to achieve five pleats with it on it. So what I just did after I've secured the edge, I folded like this this is the wrong side and this is the right side i turn it this way i fold like this just like about one inch can you see just like about one inch so i'm going to sew it straight on where i sewed if you look at it i'll sew it on where i sewed uh, you can go ahead to use your office pin to secure it first before you take it to your sewing machine All right, so I'm just going to use my office pin to secure it now. So after you have sewed it on your sewing machine, you turn it to the right side and pick another one and fold it on it. 
it also depends on the distance you want between your cleats just like this one i'm having half distance half, half inch can you see half inch so it determines how you want it to be so i'll also fold it like this when i'm folding it to be overlapping the down part the one under it will be overlapping it can you see i also secure it with my office wing and sew it if you are looking at it you see where the one on that stopped so that is where you are going to sew don't sew outside and don't sew from here just sew on where the one on that stopped i'm trying to describe this thing very well because of uh, the new beginners in our midst or in this group so that is why i'm trying to i'm taking my time to explain this so after you have folded it on the second one the first one you saw where the first one stopped when you put your hand there you will see so you can also go ahead to secure it with your office speed so that it will be very easy for you to sew on your sewing machine so i'm i'll just go ahead to do that just like i explained I will form my five plates after this one. I will form another one the same way I spend and form another one and form another one and come back with this. All right, now I have pleated it so to form the V shape, you're going to place it on each other like this. You'll place it on each other like this. Can you see? In the short way that the whole ear will end here so that you can sew it very well. So I'm going to hold it down with my pin and go and secure it with my off. Uh, uh, I mean, sew it. So I'll take it to my sewing machine and sew like this. I will sew this just like this to this place. I will sew like this to this place. Now we'll be attaching it to the body of the turban. I've already marked the center. I folded it to two and got the center. I'm having 24 inches here. The center will be 12 inches. 24. The center will be 12 inches. So the, at the center of this also, this is the center. So I'm going to place the center of this and sew. So the center is this. So I'm going to fill it on here use my office pin to hold it down i also take the other one like this pin it down and it's this one also oh i made it very well and pin it down so what i'm going to do now is to take it to my sewing machine and sew straight just like this when i'm getting there i try to arrange it very well and so so when you are so you are sewing on the the last sew you sewed on your on your band the last sew you sew on it or you come to the front a little so that by the time you are sewing the last sew here on this part can you see the last sew here will not be showing that's why I say you sew it, you sew on it or come f f come to the front a little so that by the time you turn it out, you have a perfect work outside. All right, I'll go ahead to do that and show you the next thing to do to do to do. Now I've sewed the band to the base just this, the way I described. I'm just going to turn it to the other side and trim out the SS here. I'll do that later. Let me just explain this because this is not a stretchy fabric. So I'm going to be adding my elastic to the band at the back here. So I'm having for the for the elastic case, I'm having four and a half here, and the elastic is three inches in total. Because I'm using this tiny elastic, that is why I'm using two. If you are using that one inch, is it one inch or half inch of elastic? Sorry, one inch. It will be okay. One just one like this to be okay for you. So what I will just be doing is to place the elastic on it like this. This is the wrong side. Remember, this is the wrong side. I will place the elastic on it like this. And so, I will, so I will leave about one inch to turn it out. So when I get to this end to sew it, I also bring the elastic 
I'll do it like this to this place and I'll sew the two. I'll sew on it and turn it out from the one inch I left. So the reason why I don't want it to be too long is because the band is already 20, uh, already 23, 22 for the normal X circumference for adult level. So that is why I don't want it to be too long because it's not a stretchy. That is why I'm just adding this and I don't want to put and do. So what I'll just do is to is to sew it. I'll sew this to this and I'll sew this to this. Just to have that space in between the bands. The next thing to do now is to leave about one inch away from the band and sew from here. So just the way you sew your band, your top band. Okay, you see, we just sew like that and do my running stitch on it, cut out the excess and do my running stitch on it. So I may not trim out anything because I've secured this place. I don't want to stress myself a minute again. So I'll just do like this. It doesn't affect it. It'll just make it very full at the back. So I will bring this together like this. Just to sew it so so it so it doesn't affect it in any way. To me it doesn't. And if you want to trim it out, trim it out and secure the edge from losing. You can just weave it with your sewing machine, weave it, weave it machine. So I'll just secure I do the running stitch and tie it. Can you see that it doesn't affect it you see so we are done with the top band it will make the design on top of the top band so let's move on to the design on top just like i said at the beginning of this video that this Queen of Night Urban is a unique one. <laughs> All right, so what we are what we are going to be doing on our Queen of Light, I have two years of Queen of Light here, is that we will be creating holes inside the Queen of Light, just like this. This is a Queen of Light, can you see? So create we create holes inside the Queen of Light. Uh, we we'll use it to form our design. So I like using uh, the metallic Queen of Light. This is a metallic Queen of Light. Because it has all this shine shine on the face, and it is no metallic crinoline, seven inches of crinoline. I'm using seven inches of crinoline, seven inches. Okay, so all right, so tie the two hands of the crinoline, bring it together like this, and use a needle and tray or tray to tie it. So you can also for supply your gum on it before you go ahead to tie. So I'm just using a thread to just tie it. Make sure you do that very well. So what we're going to be doing now is to create all inside it. Can you see how I'm doing it? Don't be afraid. There's nothing we have, nothing we have put to your pinot line. Just this design, this is how the design is going to look. So create so you can create small zones or big holes. So that is how I'm going to do everything. Creating holes inside our cleaning lines. Another method to use while working on your cleaning line. So create the hole very well. Can you see? The ETR is coming out now. You have to do it very well because while creating the wall beside it, it will be going back again. So you have to do it very well. So I'll go ahead to do the remaining ones and show you the next thing. Next thing to do, to do, to do. Just try to open up the hole very well. Can you see the one I've done? This here is coming out nice. So there's no waste of crinoline because some people will be like, ah, why my waste is 
all about it's all about creativity it's all about creativity so just create two i'm using two years you can use less than that and you can use more than that you can make your wall to be small you can make it big it all depends on what you want and there are another there are also another method to do this i will tell you when i'm done with this i'll tell you okay so another method to do this also is to tack it but that is very stressful but notwithstanding you still come out with the rain thing so the whole between you can use your thread to tack it to bring it together so that it can stay because by the time you are open this the other one will be closing up again so and don't try to cut out any thread a uh, any queen line here can you see this one don't try to cut it out because you want the all to be open no you know if you cut it out you have already damaged your queen line because you know all these lines all the patterns are joined together so don't try to cut out anything just use your hand to open it up to open it up just like this you can make it not too so close you know i created all the holes here but you can make your own scanty it's currently like that. Do you understand what I mean? And you go ahead to open it up the more anywhere that is already closed due to how you are doing it. You open it the more. And now we're going to take our needle and thread. Double your thread inside your needle. And we will do a running stitch on the edge. You know, when you are dealing with your queen line, you see one end that has a thread that you can draw. That is where we'll be doing the running stitch. We'll not be doing it the other hand because this end must not face up. We are going to do the running stitch on the head on this end that has straight. So I'll try to draw it to open it up the more. To open it up, to open it up, to open it up. Now I'll do the running stitch. Can you see how it looks now? Nobody will know that this is spinning like we have already. It's, we did not damage it, but we have done something on it. So I'm going to do the running stitch. I already double my thread inside my needle. So I'll start the running stitch from here. You can also go ahead to do your running stitch on at the center. You will try to do that at the center. So my one stitch will go like this, just only at that edge. I believe we know how to do this. I believe we know how to do that. So I'll go ahead to do that one stitch till I read the other hand and draw everything together. Now I've got it to the other hand, I will just draw it together and bring the two hands together and secure it. So just like I said, you can use more than this, but if you are using less than this, it might not come out nice. It might not, like using less than two years. So I'll try to do it this way. And secure it to bring it together using a thread and needle to do that. Now I'll be placing this on my turban, sew it with the needle and thread to my turban. You can sew it to the right side and you can sew it to the left side of your turban. So what I'm trying to do is just to open it up the more because I can see some of them are closing. But notwithstanding the 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 what you did on it will still show even they are closing. You will still see that it is not just the way you met it, the way you bought it. You will see the holes on them, not it. <laughs> I've already determined where it's going to be on my turban. So what I'm just doing is using my needle and try to sew it. You can also use your glue gun, your hot glue to sew it. Just make sure you do that very well. 
So I'm just using my needle and thread to sew it to the turban. Now I've attached it to the turban. So I'm going to place my leather rose on this place just to cover that place. I'll be using my thread to sew it to the crinoline, not to the turban, not to the crinoline. So you can use any accessories to embellish your turban. So I'll go ahead to use my needle and thread to sew it very well to the crinoline. So I'll go ahead to embellish with my pearls. Apply my gum on the pearl. I just place it, just can't, just make it, I'll make it scant on it. So I'll just be placing my pearls on it. I'll apply my gum on my pearl and place it on it. So I'll do that round. Like I'll just cut it on it. Yeah, our final line turban is ready. Ready, ready. You can also make this for your fascinator. Instead of using turban, place it on your fascinator and you are good to go. The same way you can use the three inches final line to form this design. All right, can you see how it looks? It is beautiful. All right, I'm going to show you how it will look on my mannequin. Alright, bye bye, thank you for watching.